continue solving rational equations, they're so very similar to adding and subtracting rational expressions. You have to be awfully careful with them. Remember, it's an equation. It's got an equal sign. The directions will say, solve. That's, that's all they'll say. Um, and so you're looking for y to equal some number. However, remember there are restrictions on the domain. In this particular problem, the one thing I see that y cannot equal is a zero, because I don't want to divide by zero. So I don't have to think too hard on that, but that is one of the restrictions on my domain for this problem. So again, whether you're adding and subtracting rational expressions or solving rational equations, you've got to first tell yourself what the least common denominator is. So in this case, that is a 2y. And you're not trying to get those common denominators. You know, this one's got it, and you're not trying to get a 2 in this denominator. You're trying to remove the denominators. So you multiply by the whole LCD. You multiply every term by the 2y. Every term by the 2y. Right side also, because you've got to keep the balance in this equation. Remember, an equation is a balanced thing. The left side equals the right side. And so what you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. And the reason we do this is because by multiplying the, by the LCDs, then we can clear the denominators. So right here, the 2y over 2y is equal to 1. And it leaves me with just the numerator of 5. Or right here, this one had a denominator of y in it. The y's will cancel out, so the 8 just gets multiplied by the 2. If you want to do that without showing this work, if you want to just look at this and say that denominator is missing a 2, and so that 8 is going to have to be multiplied by the 2, that's cool. The dilemma there for you, though, is that 1 had a 1 underneath it, so it was missing everything, if that's the way you're going to think about it. And so its numerator has got to be multiplied by the whole 2y. A lot of people forget to multiply that side by the 2y. They kind of think it's all done or something. Um, and so finally, um, I am trying to look for a value for y. My, my value for y is 10 and a half. It's 21 over 2. It's 10.5. However, you're asked to report that answer. Um, I actually like improper fractions, so you could just give me that 21 over 2. Remember, y could not equal 0, so I'm okay. And I should check this in my original problem. Um, I, I will try to do that from time to time, but just not every time. Let's do another problem. So we're solving rational equations. <clears throat> So, your first step <clears throat> is to find the least common denominator. That means you got a factor, the denominators. This one has a greatest common factor in it of a 2. So, i got to factor that out, and then I'll have the binomial 2x minus 3. You see that 2 right there? That's 2 times that. See that 4? That's, that's like a 2 times a 2. So the least common denominator has the factors the greatest number of times they occur in any one denominator. So the LCD is going to be 4 times the 2x minus 3, because the 2x minus 3 occurs here once and there once. The greatest number of times is once. So again, I don't need to call it 8. I don't need to call it this 2 and that 4 or a total of 8. The LCD is just 4 times 2x minus 3. Now remember, you're multiplying everything by that LCD. I think I'm trying to decide if I have enough space here. I'm going to try rewriting this. So I have 3 in this numerator over 2 times that 2x minus 3. I'm even going to maybe think of this as 2 times 2. And then now I'm going to show that I'm going to multiply this by 4 times 2x minus 3. I'm going to show that I'm going to multiply this by 4 times 2x minus 3. And I'm going to show that I'm going to multiply that by. 
Um, again, what a lot of people come down to at this point, it's very similar to adding and subtracting rational expressions, is they look at that denominator and they say that of that right there, it's missing the two. So they just take three times two and get six and they drop the denominator. That's, that's all I'm gonna be left with. It is because those are gonna cancel out. Two goes into here once, two goes into there twice, and two times that three is six. So a lot of people look at this denominator and they say of that LCD, it's missing the two X minus three. So this one is gonna get multiplied by only the two X minus three. And they'll go ahead and just go ahead. I, I even think I'm gonna put the one in front. One times the two X minus three. It's because those common factors of fours will be removed. And then again, a lot of people look at this and they say, oh, of that, this denominator is missing the four, so the five is gonna get multiplied by the four and give them just 20. And that is because those are gonna be removed because they're equal to one. And finally, I'm in a situation where I just have to solve a linear equation. So I have six plus two X minus three equals 20. I'm looking for some space here. Um, the six minus the three is a three. I think I can pull this off just, uh, let's go two X plus three equals 20. And then let's take this right over here. So two X plus three equals 20. Then you'd subtract three from both sides. And then you divide both sides by two. I'm not gonna show that. And I get an answer of 17 halves. Let's take a break and we'll come back and do a few more.